We're in San Antonio, Texas, July 25th, 2020. You can see this aircraft taking off. A police officer and private pilot saw this plane take off and noticed that it was flying really low. The nose kept popping up every two to three seconds, but the plane was still descending. The engine sounded normal, and the plane disappeared over the tree line, as you can see. Later on, the bystanders heard a loud crash. So today we'll be going over NTSB final report. July 25th, 2020, Piper PA-28, Cherokee. So firefighters going to have to get on scene. People were saying that there was three on board. Two ran out to try to get help, and they're running into the street. This almost hit a house. It was in the backyard. This is what it ended up doing. So firefighters are going to have to get on scene, find out how many people there are, and try to get them to the hospital. They did have major burns, and one did not survive. So here's the analysis. The pilot with two people were taking them out on a local discovery flight to see if they wanted to have flight lessons. After that, the pilot was unable to climb the airplane above the trees. The pilot was probably familiar with the airport. Uh, airport surveillance showed that the airplane lifted off after a 1700 foot long ground roll and was in a nose high attitude but was not climbing and headed toward the trees. After which the airplane was out of the camera's view, the airplane impacted the trees and terrain about 2400 feet from the departure end of the runway and was destroyed by impact and post impact fire. So again here it is again not much left, firefighters had to get on scene, you can see they hit these trees as they came in and I believe this is the person's uh, backyard here. A post-accident examination of the airplane revealed no anomalies that would have precluded normal operation of the plane. A weight and balance calculation for the accident flight showed that the airplane was operating at 73 pounds over its maximum gross weight of 2150. The pilots elected to depart on the runway with gusty tailwinds, component with 47 knots. The airplane observed takeoff ground roll of 1700 feet. It was 50% longer than that of the 12, uh, 1100 25 feet uh, ground roll predicted by the airplane's performance charts for a no wind takeoff. It's likely that the pilot's decision to take off with the airplane over its maximum gross weight and gusty tailwind prevented the airplane from climbing and maintaining altitude. So it happened at this Stinson Mission Municipal Airport. They took off from runway 14 and then shortly after takeoff they went into these trees and you can see some homes here and that's where they ended up. So you can see the trees where it came through. It broke right here. There's a dog kennel and a house about 100 feet away below these trees. So as it came through, luckily it did not hit the homes. But good thing in a way that they were home so that they could call 911 when they heard it and get people to come and help. And then you can see news is on scene. Firefighters are on scene. And the house back there, and that's where the aircraft is. So they're going to have to stay on scene for a while because they do have to let the NTSB investigators get on scene and then also help with these other passengers and sadly the other two did not make it from their burns weeks after because burns are real difficult because it's like an open wound you don't have the skin there anymore so it's really prone to infection and it's really hard to recover it takes a long time another question I had was for these Piper Cherokee 140s the four seats I would think it'd be real easy to just throw things in the back or have too many people and miscalculate the weight um, that seemed to have been the probable cause because the uh, pilot's improper decision to take off in an airplane over its maximum gross weight and with a tailwind prevented the airplane from climbing. So if you pilots could let me know how you guys um, make sure that that doesn't happen. Um, hope some lessons were learned on this. I will continue with the NTSB final reports. This is Arford. I'm Keone. I'll see you guys next time.